Here we have 13.2 solving a system of linear equations given its augmented matrix. So this is the matrix we were given. Notice that it already has a one. It already has a zero here. So the next step is to turn this term into zero. To do that, we need a positive four here. So we did positive four times row one plus row two to get the new row two. So all of the entries in row one multiplied by four is here. Row two is here. And when I combine them together, I get this result, which will become my row two. Row one stays the same, row three stays the same. Next, I look at this. This is already a one, and these are already zeros. So I don't need to do anything for this column. In the last column, this is already a one, and this is already a zero. So the only thing I need to do is work on making this a zero. To do that, I need a negative five. So I need to multiply this by negative five. So negative five times row three plus row one. So this is all of the entries in row three multiplied by negative five and then row one underneath it. When I to do this computation in my calculator and this is what I found. So this all becomes my new row one, row two and row three stay exactly the same. And then I can go back into my equation form and say that one X equals this number, one Y equals that number and one Z equals that number. And so then I have solution x y and then z okay now for this other matrix we're going to do the same thing so we already have the one where we need it we need to turn this guy into a zero so we're going to do three times row one plus row two so this is all of row one's items times three row two items underneath when i combine them I get this which becomes my new row two then row one and row three stayed exactly the same from um, I would try to get this to become a 1, but it already is. Then I would try to get the zeros here and here. Now there's already a 0 there, so my next target is this guy. I want to turn that into a 0. So I need to use this 1 to turn that to a 0. So I need this 1 to turn into a negative 2. So we're going to do negative 2 times row 2 plus row 3 to give us the new 0 in row 3 that we need. So this is all of the items in row 2 times negative 2. And these are all of the items in row three. When I did the combi combining, I got zero, 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 zero. As soon as you get zero, zero, zero on this side, you should stop. You don't need to continue any further at all. Okay? So as soon as I got that zero, 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 I looked at the end and noticed that you have zero on the left side equal to zero on the right side. That means you have infinitely many solutions. Okay. If I take the top equation, that becomes 1x plus 3z equal to 3 fourths. If I take the middle equation, that's no x's, plus 1y minus 3z equal to negative 8. Each of these can be solved for x and y pretty easily. So if I minus 3x over to the right hand side, or if I, I'm sorry, if I, here it is. So x plus 3z equal to 3 fourths, uh, y minus 3z equal to negative 8. I'm going to minus 3z over to the right hand side, I get this equation. I'm going to add 3z over to the right hand side, I get this equation. So now I have x and y in terms of z. That means that z is the arbitrary variable. So I'm going to select the option that looks like this, and I'm going to fill in the blank for x and y. And all I'm going to do is tell you what x is equivalent to and what y is equivalent to in terms of z. And this is the solution. Now there's one more situation that can happen, and that's this one here. So if I go through it, I'm going to try to get this to become a zero. So in order to do that, I need this to turn into a positive three. So I did positive three times row one plus row two to give me the zero in row two that I need. So all of these guys times three are here. Row two is here. When I combine them, I ended up with zero. 0, 0, and a 3. Remember what I mentioned, as soon as you have 0, 0, 0 there, you need to stop. Row 1, I kept the same. Row 3, I kept the same. The only one that changed was row 2, right? So I need to stop, which means I need to go put these in their equation forms. So this is x plus 3y minus 11 over 4z equal to 28 over 3. This is 0 equal to 3, 
and this is 5x plus 15y minus 55 fourths z equal to 131 over 3. Now because of this middle equation, 0 does not equal 3. So that means that there's no solution. So I don't need to continue and try to solve for x or y in these, in these situations. I just know that the answer is no solution. So you've got the three different cases there where when you solve it, you actually end up with a number, a solution as an answer, right? Just one unique solution. Or if you're going through all of it and you get the zero, 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 if there's a zero on the other side in that row, then you know it's infinitely many solutions and you do have to figure out how you're gonna solve for the other two variables. However, in this case where you get zero, 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 and then a number, you know that that one is no solution and there's nothing further to do.